yet again, if you're here, thanks and welcome. Um, let's just get those intros out the way. So, if you're still here, let's see what we're getting into today. Look at this. Bro, that's a whole ass bus. Whole bus. <laughs> so, uh, this is Mr. Gerbs here. How long have you had this thing? Let's go ahead and finally introduce the bus. I think you guys who've been around uh, since day one probably seen it at River Run on some of our other yeah. videos. But uh, anyway, give us a, give us a spill, bro. Uh, I've had it. I think about two years now and uh, bought it as a full-blown school bus and in 30 days trying to make it to rednecks with paychecks converted it out to almost what it is now it's a little better now I've done some things so when you here. say convert can we go take a look at the yeah, inside yeah. real quick it has a mobile home door on it because the other one sucked ripped the seats out got a tankless water heater it's got a sink with water storage pump it's got a refrigerator a couch bed uh, so is this where y'all sleep on this? No, no, no. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So then you have your shower here. You got the uh, private poop room off in there. You even got a toilet, bro. Yeah, a toilet, bro, with a black tank. Got AC mini split, and then it's got this murky bed back here. That's kind of a pain to do by yourself. I don't think you actually have to you get know, fold it down. You get the idea. I think they get it's the idea. It down. <laughs> you know, this, this is where the magic happens, yeah, kind of deal, like, yeah, crap, bro. This is where the magic and happens. And so this is your AC right yeah, here? Yeah, mini split AC with a heat pump, so summertime or wintertime. Got me covered, and it does a great job of keeping this uh, thing cooled down. And so this is where you and Jamie sleep back here? Yeah, this is where we sleep. And obviously, you've redone the floors as well. Right. I see that. Uh, what else? So you got, like, little storage, I guess, right? Yeah, it's got, so it's got, like, a little, this is kind of our closet area where we can stack our bags, keep our fan, blankets, stuff like that. And then this deep window yeah, seal, too. Deep. This wall, where this is, is essentially moved in from the backside, which I'll take you guys out there in a second, but he doesn't haul a trailer. I mean, he can, but... Yeah. How he gets his rig. Let me take you guys outside. Let's just snap into that. So this is the outside. That's the back of the bus, the actual from factory back of the bus. Yeah. And how much did you move this in from there? Uh, about 11 foot. And that's foot. where you put the, that's where I put the, the terrace. Yeah. And it fits perfectly? It fits exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, exactly. I, you can see where my tires rub here. I run the tires all the way up against here. And then the back is maybe just four or five inches away from and off. so uh you're the rest of the ac unit here yeah that's the outside part of the mini split and uh the Terex fits over that when you load it yeah it clears it okay even stock it still clears it but with it being as big as it is it's i mean my i could see my winch in the back window that's more or less what i was asking for those who may want to do this so a stock machine would clear yeah yeah stock this, would clear. this setup with yeah. how tall did you make these so these are essentially like two inches taller than the factory fenders um i had left the original factory fenders on it for probably six or eight months but after a few rides they started to cave in they just really couldn't handle the weight so i made these out of some thicker steel and some good uh, angle iron so this is where your shore power connects it's just a marine grade twist lock connector um uh, just standard rv deal uh, this one here is where I could fill the water tank that's on the inside or I could hook up a water hose directly to it and not have to fill the tank or deal with the pump. And then this, I think it might be locked. Yeah. I think we can see. Oh, okay, I'll just say, I'll just say on it. But it's not high security or nothing, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a whole outside shower. I don't have this on it because usually we just use it for like washing our feet off and stuff like that, but it's got hot and cold water. Oh, so you got hot and cold on yeah, the outside. Yeah, it's got hot and cold on the outside, nice. which is nice in the wintertime. Which also, I wanted to point out, you got little stowaway boxes. Yeah, I do over. have these storage boxes that I just basically just trimmed out and mounted in there. And that's where I keep my water hose and my mirror that broke off and uh, my propane tank and all that usually stays in here. 
but just extra storage because I didn't think so much that storage would be so necessary on this thing until after I built it. So that's why I got this. And you installed those, what, I mean, it wasn't too long ago. No, it was maybe six months ago or so. Okay. So, and then I put this latch in here for easier action. That sounds like it needs some kind of uh, yeah, lubrication. Some, yeah. <laughs> and then the, uh, the, my propane hose for my tankless water heater. Oh, okay. It just fits in there on us. So why is this big honking machine halfway torn down in pieces, squeezed into the other bay, uh, number seven bay of our shop? We're painting this big bastard. Finally. No more uh, drunken spray paint testing that I've done on it. Uh, it will be all pretty much the uniform color, or two colors. Right? No more, no more meth. Methodist. Yeah, no more Methodist. <laughs> so uh, while we get the prepping knocked out, this thing is going to go next door to uh, Surface Solutions. Shout out Lance Mullins out of Roy City, Texas. Uh, we definitely appreciate it working some side deals with you and you be able to uh, get this prep for us with the sandblasting. But after all that, here comes the paint. You want to see what color it is? Just stick around and uh, we're just diving into Saturday at this point. All right, so it's Saturday, and uh, the bus is prepped. Shout out Surface Solutions. Uh, Mr. Lance Mullins, we appreciate it, bro. Uh, we ended up having to spray it down a little bit for the sheer fact of uh, our leaf blower trick here that the GURB is doing. Wasn't getting all of the media out of all the little cracks, so we had to take the pressure washer to it, and now it's wet, obviously. And, uh, you know, water and bare metal cause rust. So, we got a little surface rust. Shouldn't affect it too much as far as the painting. And then, uh, I, th I think we're gonna primer it, you know, but anyway, get this thing finished, prep the rest away, and we'll just snap into some time lapse, getting the bus in and getting going. Cause I love you for infinity I love you for infinity Cause I love you for infinity So uh, here we shut the fuck. Here we are, literally waiting for paint to dry. Jamie, aren't you so happy we decided to do this today? No, I'm regretting life choices. Ma'am, we are filming. Aren't you so glad you came to the shop today? I'm so glad I came to the shop today to watch paint dry. I've never actually watched paint dry in my life, but here it is. We were watching paint dry. Oh, what's going on? Have you got one of the That's too damn bad. I paid for that shit. I was gonna say, yeah. <laughs> I'm so mad I didn't get the free beer of my choice. <laughs> <laughs> it's all tarted. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> oh, I, I, Are we doing this? We need to about it. <laughs> <laughs> this is too, Saturdays are for the boys. Well, one shotgun later, and we're still semi-productive. Bus is, again, still waiting to be painted some more. I think we're on what, third coat? Second coat? sides, yeah. We still gotta do all yeah. of the technical cutting in and stuff takes forever. But she's finally getting beautified. Getting there. But um, yeah, I guess we'll throw in more time-lapse of watching paint try. 
can't go for that. Yeah. Okay. All right, so the paint finally dried and we finally got to do the side paint and all this other stuff Still not hundred percent done and with that being said, I'll show you what I'm talking about here in just a second But I wanted to kind of get it in the lighting I guess the best I can because now that we're after daylight savings time and all that stuff It's dark outside, but here she is in all of her glory the Rector County Corrections Facility bus <laughs> The gray and black definitely makes it look like a chopped up prison bus, but still much better than white and yellow and rust and all the other colors that were on this bus. It looks way better. So big shout out to, of course, the owners for putting in the work. Uh, Jamie's back there somewhere, Miss Jamie, and then Aaron doing, I'd say at least 97% of the elbow grease of this. Alan and I were here and there, um, and Dakota kind of chipped in, so shout out to us on the 3%. But much, much better. This is still not done. This color right here is just primer for those of you, why'd you do it red? It's because it's just primer. This is randomly black here because that's where Aaron used this as a workspace to paint some other parts. I'm sure that's what that is too. This is actually bed liner, but it's like cheapo bed liner, so it just looks like black rattle can. Now, if you look here, we're missing the rear bumper, and that's what I was referring to a second ago. Bumpers are getting powder coated, so it's still not 100% done, but that's what's going on. We're just waiting on the bumpers at this point. Now, those are black. That slapped a lot harder than I anticipated. That's not all the way black. The wheels are still white and dirty. Just like the owner. <laughs> Come check this out. So we bring you to the front. Oh my goodness, honey. You just have trying to text this. Yep. Says nothing. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, obviously the front bumper is missing too because I said bumpers, those of you who pay attention. But look at this freaking deal. That is badass. That was definitely hand painted. Not rolled on and all that craziness. Like literally every little detail hand painted by Jamie. Uh, and for those of you who don't know, maybe just checking in because you saw the title and we haven't done bus material before. Jamie is the Gerb's wife. So go check out some of the videos. You'll figure out what's going on. New light bezels. Much nicer. Uh, Aaron said he's going to get some new LED headlights. They're not here now. And turn signals. But uh, other than little like odds and ends, that's that's it. I mean, this thing is now, oh, there's a random star here. I didn't see that earlier. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this thing is now just as nice as the inside. What do you think about it? I think it's sweet. It's a lot better than it was for sure. There's a lot of freaking work. Way wanna, more work than I anticipated. You wanna do another one? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Never again. Buried Very deep, deep down. down. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, if you made it this far, we hope you enjoy the bus. If you see us out at the uh, Big RR or any of the other local parks to Texas, Louisiana, Oklahoma, um, you see the bus and you see the old Gerb around, come, come and talk to him or, or his wife, Jamie. Come talk to them. They're all about showing this freaking thing off. <laughs> they absolutely love showing this thing off and for good reason, because it is badass. Especially now, I don't think you can miss it. And it's more approachable now that it all matches. So I can't guarantee you they're not gonna try to lure you in. That's a gamble you're gonna have to take. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you, <laughs> if, you see, if you see them out there, uh, definitely try to come up and say hello because they would probably love to show off the bus. Yep. There's Fireball. <laughs> There's Fireball. <laughs> but anyway, you know what? Let's just get to the outros. See you on the next one. Hey guys, as always, if you made it this far, greatly appreciate it. Be sure to check out some of our other videos and also check out our merch store. New stuff dropping soon. If you like the video, like it, subscribe. Hit your notification bell so you can continue to see everything. Don't forget to leave a comment. You know, if, even if you hate us, if you like us, let us know how we're doing. Don't forget to follow us on socials, on our Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat, whichever one, all up here. Keep up to date with our projects and everything else. But uh, thanks for watching.
Yeah. <laughs>